Good afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. I'm Bonnie Willie. Hope you had a fabulous weekend. Welcome to it. It's the beginning of the week, and today we're joined by a true veteran in the acting world. She recently secured a role in the critically acclaimed Hollywood blockbuster, Black Panther. It's Connie Trume, and she'll be sharing her experience with us. While you're online, head over to our social media platforms and join the conversation. We're asking you, actress Connie Trume starred in the blockbuster, blockbuster hit, Black Panther. Which character in the film resonated with you the most? Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. We've also got a live performance coming up. She's one of the big stars of 2017. Signed to Afrotainment, she released the summer hit Iskatulo. Cannot wait to have our guests in the loft with us today. And I thought because it's a Monday, we wanted to start the week off on quite a competitive note. Hmm. We've got a guest chef with us in the loft today. And apparently at uh, Maponia Mall, there's going to be a really cool event happening uh, very soon where they're going to be trying to make a world record happen. That's obviously Clover and the Cremonese team. They're going to try and make the most amount of sandwiches in a line today. So myself and my guest, Akona, are going to be trying to see who between the two of us can make the most sandwiches in one minute. If you feel like you've got time this afternoon, perhaps you're preparing your kids' lunch today, for school tomorrow, for that the whole week, perhaps you've got something planned, how about you try and time yourself as well and see how many sandwiches you can make in one minute. Myself and corner will go head to head. Are you ready for it? I'm taking this one. It's going to be a delicious sandwich, however. Mine is going to be delicious. Don't know about yours. Right, moving on very <laughs> swiftly, ladies and gentlemen. Clem's also in the loft with us today. We're not competing this time because we're friends and we're happy this <laughs> side, on this side of the world. What are you making us? Oh, 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 are we? But I think Akuna is going to win this one, though. Let's just, like, Definitely. be real. Sure. See how this works, all right? I see. You know what? <laughs> bullying, <laughs> bullying men, tell men. I'm going to go see a psychologist afterwards. All right, cool, but I got you, though. Cool, Today what are you making? we're keeping it Mexican. Mm -hmm. We're keeping it corn, meat-free Monday. We're doing some beautiful um, enchiladas. Lovely. Like I it? like enchilada. Yeah. It's my Me one too. of my favorite things in the whole world. Pop it in the oven, melt the cheese over the top, and boy, oh boy, does it taste delicious. Can I wait for the recipes on the show? I hope that you guys are ready. Now, our first guest is already on the couch, and it makes us so proud as South Africans to see our artists performing on that international stage. And our next guest is the latest South African actress to join John Carney on the credits of the Marvel blockbuster. A veteran actress, Connie Chume, was cast in the star-studded Black Panther, and she says during the auditions, she didn't even have any idea what film she was auditioning for. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh -huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Hold up. Let's go. go, go. It is your time. Show me my respect and bow down. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect and bow down. I waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'm gonna burn it all. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. Black Panther, the two words on everybody's lips. Welcome to the loft. Lovely Thank to have you, so you with much. us. Thank Mancone. you for having me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 
before we get into working on this uh, incredible film, you, you didn't even know you were auditioning for Black Panther when you were auditioning. Yes, the working title was uh, Motherland. Ah. So as far as I knew, I was auditioning for Motherland. And even then, I didn't quite know what it was because I was just sent that piece that Your I'm size, going to audition yes, with. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Then I went and I did my best on what I had. Yeah. And later I received a call from my agent that I've been cast for Black Panther. <laughs> but even still, it didn't dawn to me that um, the, 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 the Black Panther, which they're talking about, is a superhero. <laughs> for yeah. me, I was thinking about the African-American activist movement. Yes, the movement. political movement, yeah. Yes, and I, I was happy, you know. I mean, artists, we are freelancers and we're always looking for new opportunities. And the opportunity coming from America, that was something that I was supposed to be excited about. I was happy, uh, I can't deny that, <laughs> but a little bit worried uh, that why are they casting in South Africa for this kind of movie? Yes. What, what does the story say? I'm worried that I might involve myself in something that's going to be controversial. Yes. Mm. So you were on another set and you were telling, you happened to be mentioning to another actress what the film was and that you were cast for. <laughs> and then that's actually when it dawned on you. Actually, I, I was not telling them. Management knew that I'm going to America, so because we, we requested for uh, that time when I'm supposed to leave. Yes. So I don't know how it leaked to the actors. Yes. So one day at lunch, you know how we normally sit together yes. and all that. Yes. So one of them asked me that, uh, Mom, can we understand you are going to America. What are you going to do there? So, you know, with my low tone voice, I went like, oh yeah, it Black Panther. Yo, <laughs> and everybody <laughs> just stood up. They started screaming, you know, wow. went on Google on their phones and they showed me. And I looked at all these names that are there. Who put Johnny, the first one, John Carney. Then I see about Angela Bassett, all of them, you know who they are. And the you just got goosebumps. And I, I got, I, I was numb. For the whole afternoon at work, I was, wow. I was working like a, I don't know, like a, a robot. Wow. <laughs> at the back of my mind, I was trying to digest this thing. Yes. Until I got home, I couldn't, I couldn't believe that I'm going to be surrounded by all those names in one setting. Wow. I have worked with them here at home. Like yes, maybe on one of them comes. Yes, yeah. maybe one of them comes and you shoot here at home, and that's it. This time I have all of them there in one set. Wow, that's incredible. Very, very and, much and, so. And what a re-emergence, because I won't even call it a comeback, because people like you don't, don't do comebacks. You have had a prolific career in this country. And the last time we saw you was on um, Rhythm City, yeah. if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And to reappear again in Black Panther, I mean, sure. that, that must have been quite an emotional journey for you. Yes. you know, Because you gave many years to, to Rhythm City. I was, I was with Rhythm City for nine years. Yeah, and then they decided that um, they don't need my character anymore, and that's how, that's how uh, I left it. Not the stories that we are reading that Connie Chume uh, resigned, no. It wasn't like that, I didn't divorce them. <laughs> yeah. They divorced yeah. me, yes. So, I mean, that's how it is, you know, you work in a, a soap or whatever, you work on a contract basis, and your contract, in so peace, it's normally one year. So after one year, they have the right to do whatever they want to do. Mm. So that's what they did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But before that, you've had an even greater s a spell on, on South African television and theatre. Mm. I mean, you've been on Zone 14, you've been on New Zone. There's so many. We've even so worked many. together on, on Rhythm City. Yes, we did. And looking back at your career, what is it that stands out for you the most about what you've built? Yo, it's, it's a very difficult question, Bonnie. I have, I, you know, I started in theater in 1977. Last oh, wow. year, it was my 40th year in 40th the industry. Year it's in going to be 41 in May since I've been in the industry. For me, I think what stands out more is the first time when I resigned from teaching because that's what, I was in nursing, then I was in teaching. teaching. Because I've always felt that my calling is, is here. Even though I thought that I'm going to be a singer. But um, I auditioned in a show that was going to travel Israel and Greece. So I resigned and I went to, to that show from teaching. So that, that part where I was brave enough to resign for a stable job, 
to come into the industry where we are freelancers where there's for so the rest much uncertainty of, yes mm. where we are freelancers for the rest of my life that was something very very significant in the career that i've absolutely chosen. and i don't know how but i managed to stay there for 41 years yeah yeah well you know one thing that always stands out about me about you for me is your faith and it's something that you speak so openly about. So when you yes. say you don't know how you did it, I actually immediately I knew how because that yes. is a very we important only, part of your character. I, I normally say, you know, when, when I realize the, um, the kind of film that I'm doing with Black Panther, you know, all I could say, people were like, how is this going? You've been quiet. You didn't tell us that you're in this big movie and all that. And I said, you know what? I think, not even I think, I know it's God's time. Hmm. Not that everybody should wait for four years for their God's time. Some people arrive earlier, some people arrive late. Mm. And Viola Davis, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an example of people like her yes. who, who have, should I dare say, arrived. <laughs> 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 absolutely, you know, after absolutely. You do, after you do something of this magnitude, you hope that uh, somebody recognizes you. Absolutely. Because the industry in South Africa is, is not big enough, you know. You reach a point where you feel like you've reached the ceiling, the ceiling and there's no going yonder. And but then for something like this to happen. Yes, yes, for something like this to happen, it's taking you beyond the ceiling. Then you are able to see you go to Norman. The horizon doesn't end here. Wow. It actually goes on and on and on. Wow. So I think that's what uh, Black Panther has done for my career. I hope so. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I vouch for that. It, it's going to yes. go on and on and on. And mm. you said it in your own words earlier that you, when you leave this earth, are going to leave this earth an artist. So. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> well, congratulations again. Thank, Thank you so, you so much, much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Man, there's been so much love on our social sites. So keep it coming through, hashtag Afternoon Express. Before we get to the actual uh, social media question that we're asking you, um, Sfiso uh, Madondo says, I dearly love Mama Connie. Uh, she's a living legend and I salute her. So thanks so much for uh, that message that came through. On our social media platforms today, specifically on Facebook, there's a post up there asking you uh, which one of those characters in Black Panther particularly resonates with you. If you feel like in a dark mood in your life, perhaps you're the villain, perhaps you are one of the other characters We've also got, obviously, the spy in there. There's the regal queen of Wakanda. There's so many options for you to choose from. Uh, one of them came from Bishop Don Stilo, who says Michael B. Jordan as uh, Eric Killamonger, uh, who's uh, obviously owned the movie. Letitia Wright as Shuri, the scene stealer. I like that one. And then uh, Ike Teng says, I haven't watched the movie, but the regal queen of Wakanda suits, uh, suits you. Thanks for that. And also, Opa Dedrick is also agreeing with that one. Um, then uh, Musk Muskwa Cecil says, uh, The Spy. And then um, Puseletso says, Okoye, okay, yeah, I like her voice. So some really cool options there for you to vote on. Go and choose your favorite, all right? Coming up after the break, we head to the kitchen for a fun sandwich-making challenge. Who will be the winner? You'll have to stay tuned after this with Clover Cremonese. Childhood cancer is the second most common cause of death amongst children in South Africa. One in every 500 children in South Africa are diagnosed uh, with childhood cancer. My daughter was diagnosed. She's got my epithelial carcinoma of the soft tissue, which is in the tummy. It's very sad to, to find out that your child has cancer because I never thought that it would happen to me. Chalk is very helpful because children must be treated here the whole week. So for you to travel every day, going home, coming back, so chalk is helpful there because you can come stay at chalk. They cook for the children, healthy food, and then they also provide with uh, transport with, for people who struggle. Chalk is one of South Africa's leading organizations who aid families who are affected by childhood cancer. Afternoon Express, together with my school, are committed to helping Chalk raise funds for a newly refurbished home away from home. You can get involved by signing up for your free virtual My School, My Village, My Planet card today. Download the My School app, select Chalk as one of your beneficiaries, and you will automatically be entered into a weekly loot.co.za competition. 
Chalk is a big support. We made family here at Chalk and I don't think I would know what I would have done if it wasn't for them. Mayonnaise is the only mayonnaise with clover cream. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're live on SABC3 and we're about to have a bit of fun. If you would like to see a Guinness World Record taking place, not on the show, then be sure to be at Maponia Mall this Saturday, the 3rd of March, for the Clover Cremonese Guinness World Record event. They are aiming to break the record of making the longest line of sandwiches, stretching, listen to this, four kilometers long. This is all in lieu of this exciting event. So on the show today, we'll have our own kitchen record event to see how many Clover Cremonese sandwiches we can both make. Obviously, I've got a guest with me in the loft today and she thinks that she's amazing. And she's like, oh my gosh, I want to make this all work for myself. And I'm very excited to cook alongside you because you're one of my favorite people to have in the kitchen. Thank you very much. And so I bubbly appreciate and joyful. Yeah. So what is going to go into our sandwiches before we start the timer? Okay, so we've got the uh, Clover Cremonese. Mm -hmm. We've got some cheese over there, some tomatoes. 
and my favorite lettuce. And a lettuce. Yes. And we're going to try and see in one minute how many of these sandwiches we can make. Yes. All right, so before we get into our challenge, if you guys want to know anything about this recipe, you SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 at a cost of one rand 50. Remembering those free SMSs don't apply, all right? So you've got one minute to send through that SMS to get it through because we've got one minute to make sandwiches. Yes. Are you ready? I am ready and I'm taking this one. Oh, Connor's going <laughs> to see if she can do this. One, two, two three, go! Cool. Did it start? It did. Okay. Oh wow, she's got a tactic. I don't yes. even have a technique. Hmm. Someone, uh, someone jeopardized mine. No, no one, no one did anything. Okay, I'm just double checking. Come on, this competition's on. <laughs> we got one minute to make the most amount of sandwiches. Watch how quick this Told is going to be. I'm just going to go. Like, look how clever this is. Cross them all, just like that. Don't look at my tactic. No, follow not. your own. Follow your own. I'm You're not. stealing my ideas. Sneaky. Okay, we've got 28 seconds to get as many done as you can. Okay, put a bit of tomato. Guys, neatness is also a factor here. It is. And I'm trying to make mine as neat as I possibly can. Should I get you guys to vote at home to see which one is the prettiest sandwich at the end of this? Who made the most? You've got 13 seconds. You can hashtag Team Dan or Team Aquana. Right, there we go. Four, three, done. two, one. I'm also done. <laughs> How does yours look so neat? Because I'm a chef. Okay, I think I'm going to scrap this competition. No need to vote on Twitter. <laughs> Don't use the hashtag Team McCorner or Team Dad. But there we go. Done and dusted. We managed to make one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six. And to think that this weekend they're going to try and make four kilometers worth mm. of these sandwiches. So, well done to you. Thank you. Twitter, the streets of Twitter will be the decider. Hashtag Team Dan or Team Connor. Come on, guys. We'd like to hear your thoughts for us. And use that hashtag Afternoon Express so we can find your tweets, all right? If you are in Soweto this weekend, then do join in in all the hype and the fun as well to witness the Cremonese World Record event. It's happening at Maponya Mall, if you just tuned into the show. And remember, coming up after the break on this show, however, we sit down with Durban-born musician Tipsy. Mm. Mayonnaise is the only mayonnaise with clover cream. Made with love by Clover. Express yourself. Do you want to be part of breaking a Guinness World Record? Now is your chance. Join Clover's Cremonaise on the 3rd of March at Maponya Mall when we attempt to break the Guinness World Record for the longest line of sandwiches, measuring a massive four kilometers, topped with some creamy clover mayonnaise. Come say hello to your favorite celebs, Somizi, Ewan Stradom, DJ Ms. Cosmo, and many others. Let's put South Africa on the map with Clover Cremonaise, the only mayonnaise with added dairy cream.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express, live on SABC3. Now, our next guest was once one of the breakfast stars of 2017, breakout stars, sorry, of 2017, starting off in Guaido, part of the all-girl group Chaos back in 2009. She took almost 10 years to make it big as a solo artist. And now, signed to Afrotainment, her hit song, Istatulo, was on an almost every playlist of the summer. Love, lovely to mm -hmm. join us. Thank you. Where did your career begin? So you were part of a girl group, yeah, Chaos. Tell okay, okay. so us about those days. Um, it all started 2009 when I was still signed under a 745 Sosha. Um, we were a group and we, re we released an album 2011, uh, no, 2010. And then in 2011, we went our separate ways, you know, girl stuff, you know, yeah, we couldn't like, get along. Girl stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, I, I want to say I, I understand, but a part of me is also like, is it possible for girls to just get over that stuff? Is it possible for girls to put business first, put the work first and say, you know what, no matter how I feel about you, mm. I think we have an agenda that mm. we all share that's, and we want to forward possible. it. You don't think it's possible? No. <laughs> no. But you were friends before. Yeah. Yeah, we were friends before. And then it all started when we were a group, you know, someone thought maybe she's Beyonce and then, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. I actually do think it's possible. I think women can band together and they can make right choices Hopefully. and positive choices. Yeah, mm. they are. So you are tipped to bring back Guaito. Mm -hmm. But... Tell me about the relationship between how, what you feel is Guaito music and what is Gom. Um, I think, I think it's a, I think it's like the same thing. But then the only difference is that um, Gom has a little bit a, a higher temp. Yeah. You know, it's more faster than a Guaito. No Guaito like the chumba. And then it, it Gom is like. Bah, and it's bah, got bah. a heavier it's bass. Got a, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That's that's the difference. Yeah. So you've, you've now, you're now with Afrotainment yeah. uh, and it's something you're very excited about yeah. and you, you credit <laughs> DJ Dira for mentoring you mm. and you're quite fond of him. Yeah. Tell us about your relationship with Afrotainment and how it came to be. Um, I think, okay, I knew Dira when, I think it was 2007, 2006, when I was still under, when I was still in matric, you know. I've always wanted to be, I've always wanted to be an artist. I've always wanted to be a musician, you know. And um, I did a song with, Big na no with DJ Sindo called Azizing An is it the Dunny Man. And I thought the Tira would sign me and now Tira, Tira, how Tira, no, how can I please be a part of Afro yeah. And he was like, No, 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 you need to grow up, you need to grow up. And then I did a song with Big Nas. Um, How did you feel at that moment? Were you a bit disappointed? I, w I was disappointed because I knew I had talent. Yes, you know? yes. I, I was, you know, I've always wanted to be a part of Afro Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So long of you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then I did a song with Big Nas called um, what's the song? So I put it I'm a pen. I'm a pen. I'm a pen. Yeah, and then um, last year March I did a song with DJ Gugua called the Matata. And then that's when Tira said, oh, "Okay, I, I think, think she, I see yeah, you. I, I see, see you. you." And then I did another song called the Malume. Malumu ya man. And then that's how I. Cracked it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that it took you 10 years to actually launch a solo career, mm -hmm. do you feel like those 10 years were needed when you look back? Do you feel like, you know what, actually, there are a lot of important lessons that I had yeah. to actually learn yeah. in those 10 years? Yeah. And yeah. what are some of them? Yo, the challenges, bro. You know, uh, <laughs> I think, um, in a way. Yeah. And, um, is in their wrong and their right to music in Gabonogosi. Okay, 
Giona Jela le emeling kubenga yo. In Kulsiri, yeah, I yeah, think it, yeah. it was. It was Do you also feel like if it had happened earlier, you would have maybe missed a step? Yeah. That's interesting for me because I mean I think I feel like young people now mm. want things now. They want a microwave wait, experience. They you want to put wait. it in the microwave and have it overnight. Mm. So hence I'm I'm really digging um, th on that question so that young people listening can hear you say actually it was worth it. It was worth yeah. it. Yeah. It was worth it. So there's also rumors about your a feud with between when I know babes what do you <laughs> Do you want to take this opportunity to cl clear it up? Um, no, not really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to leave it. <laughs> it's just leave it like that. You know? I mean, I'm just focusing on my stuff, yeah. focusing on my music and my career. So I just don't care about anything else. Yeah, yeah. I love your look. Thank Is there you, a baby. very specific um, feeling that you want people to get from seeing you dressed like this? Because I know if every artist makes that decision very specifically yeah. because it's, it's an atmosphere you want to create. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Okay, like, uh, I'm wearing a bulletproof here. Yeah. So um, it actually means uh, you can't beat me. Gagos and Tone. I'm the best. Yeah, Gagos and Tone. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're really looking forward to your performance. Can't okay. wait. Uh, I you. saw a bit of a rehearsal earlier, and the energy is just fierce. Can't mm. wait. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us today. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thanks. Just because it's a Monday doesn't mean we have to treat it like one. We can always treat it like a Friday. So that performance is going to be electric later on. Stay tuned. Now, if you guys have just joined the show today, we've got some amazing guests in the loft with us today. Um, we had Mom, uh, Mam Chume joining us in the loft earlier on, and so many of you have been sending through some great comments for her. I wanted to read some out for you and uh, just to kind of get the, the feels on the show today. Brenda says, I can proudly say to her, Mama Connie, that's how her character humbles me. She's like, oh, Mama, what? next door and I like that because that's exactly the kind of personality she portrays on and off screen. She's just so friendly and welcoming. Um, then one from there, Tepo Tepo says, I think that was a super surprise for her. She's a hard worker and she absolutely deserves it. And then Mala says, I still miss her on Rhythm City. And I think the rest of the country does too. So it's good to see her back on the big screen being able to celebrate the amazing work that she does. If you'd like to spread some love for her or for uh, commenting on all the other comments, uh, well, sort of sections that we've got on the Facebook page, you're welcome to go do so. Hashtag Afternoon Express. Now make sure that you stay tuned till the end of the show today. Tipsy is performing live as we mentioned and after the break directly we head to the kitchen for a meat-free version of the Mexican classic and enchilada.
via Tropica. Follow the entry details on the pack and you could win the grand prize of a Kia Picanto. For competition T's and C's, visit tropica.co.za. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Loads look forward to on SABC3 this evening. Last week's episode of Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives certainly had all of us on the edge of our seats as the celebrities selected their partners. Now, you were probably as surprised as we were by some of the pairings as the teams were now revealed. Now that the seven duos have finally been announced, be sure to tune in tonight as the teams get to know each other and the temperature rises as they compete for the first bounty of the season. It's definitely game on. Who do you think will rise to the challenge? Get a taste of the smooth island life and win big with Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives. Buy a Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack and you could win daily airtime prizes, Daniel Klein watches, American Tourista luggage for your next adventure, vouchers from loot.co.za to shop the hot daily deals online and the grand prize of a Kia Picanto. For competition T's and C's, visit tropica.co.za and don't forget to watch Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives every Monday at 7.30pm on SABC3. So if you want to see the contestants stretch themselves to their limits, be sure not to miss tonight's exciting episode on Season 8 of Tropica Island of Treasure at 7.30pm right here on SABC3. Tonight on Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives, the new teams are put to the test and are thrown into the deep end as they balance, build and swim with the sharks to try and win the first smooth bounty of the season. I don't want to drown again. I need you here because <sighs> you need to verify if what I'm saying is right. Whatever happens, we have to get it. Cheating, huh? A horrible moment for us. Don't do that, you're moving it. Don't miss Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives tonight at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Now, with each new year and change of season, what we eat and how we eat seems to change accordingly. So, if you've had enough of all of that kale hype and want to know which food trends to be expecting for 2018, we've got just the guests to help you with that. Tessa Purden, welcome to Afternoon Express. Thank you. Nice to be here. It's good to have you because I obviously I read a lot of stuff that Food24 do and you guys are doing some amazing things on that side. I always learn a lot. I'm so, so glad. <laughs> please encourage us. What should we be looking forward to when it comes to like trends for food in the new year? So this year, plant-based eating is huge, um, and that just comes as a natural kind of progression from the huge environment, environmental impacts that large-scale animal farming has on the environment. And I think people are very fast becoming more conscious of what they put into their bodies. Mm. Um, so it's just a natural progression. And of course, you mentioned kale, and I don't think kale is going to be going away too soon. No. But there are so many amazing veggies that, um, that we're going to be using this year. And then, of course, you know, plant-based eating also comes with the humane aspect yeah, where... Yeah. Um, just people... conscious food eating, I think people Absolutely. are becoming more aware of. And yeah. I, I'm even seeing the stores are doing something very similar. What the products that we're seeing on our shelves in our favorite supermarkets are starting to really point towards that kind of lifestyle. And how do they play a role in this? And what products should we be seeing on the store shelves? Yeah, definitely. I think this year we're going to be seeing a lot more of the, the sea vegetables that are coming, um, coming in. You know, it's also stems from the, the trend of foraging and sea foraging, mm. collecting stuff from, from the, the rocks, and that's going to be more accessible for people where they can basically get it off the supermarket shelves. Love it. Mm. It's awesome. Tessa, obviously, I cannot wait to read some more of the details around some of your favorite hotspots in Joburg, Durban, and Cape Town. I mean, you guys put some really good foodie stuff, but I've got a, our you. own foodie in the afternoon express love, so I'm going to leave you salivating here while I go and help Ken make something with corn. Cool. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So Clementine, you heard the trend. Uh -huh. It's all about trying to look forward to plant-based diets. It's all about trying to eat healthy. Help me. And I love it. So I'm using corn today, specifically their mince pieces. And we're going to make enchiladas. Okay. Cool. Really easy. I've got some onions in the pot already caramelized down. Going with some garlic, mm -hmm. just Which like you've that. you've also caramelized. Mm -hmm. And also it's Monday, so in case you've forgotten to take in the mince out of the freezer. Have you done taking the mince out of the freezer? I haven't yet. Fine. Just use corn mince from frozen. Boom. Cool. That's going in. And we're going to brown it as you would normal mint. Use your wooden spoon. You know, we haven't spoken much about this, but I really think it's an, a hidden treasure to find corn mints because I, everyone always feels like vegetarian minces and things and soy-based products are not as flavorful as the real thing. You've done a taste test with me before mm -hmm. with corn mints and then with normal mints. And I honestly, to be honest, with the texture and the flavor, would not know the difference. You loved it, didn't you? Yep. 
Cool, so I'm gonna add some water to that. I've added some spices, some coriander, some chili went in there, mm -hmm. some tomato paste. Oh, I can smell all those water. fragrances. It smells so Yummy. legit, and mm. it is. I'm actually having this tonight for dinner. Awesome. Absolutely. You want if you some? Yeah, I do actually would like some for dinner. If you would like to join us for dinner tonight and have this, uh, you can welcome to <laughs> SMS the keyword dinner to double three six five zero. Oh, it'll cost you one hundred and fifty, and the free SMSs don't apply. Yo, the chili in here is now it's just real. Long. It's real. Then I've got some that I cooked down already. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start filling my tortilla wraps, and all I want to do is kind of like roll them into sausage shapes, just like that. Okay, do so you just full a basic a basic wrap like that. Uh huh. So let's pretend that I've done a lot more and I've packed it super tight. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add some salsa. Gotcha. Got to always use salsa. That's going to go like that. Oh yummy! And this is all going to cook down in the oven. That's exactly oh, what's going to happen. Delicious. Sprinkle some cheese over. It's going to go to the oven. Is there it's like a specific cheese we should be using? You know what? What do you want to use? Anything. Like, Anything. I mean, cheddar, mozzarella, and they're all fine. They Absolutely. All melt well. It goes into the oven. Comes out super malty and delicious like that. Top it with <gasps> some sour cream, some chili. Some coriander, your favorite. Yes. Dinner's done. Fresh ingredients in there with the nice warm dishes as well. It's hearty and super, super yum. Hope that you guys are going to make this for dinner. Remember, the keyword is dinner. And you SMS that to 33650 at a cost of 1 Rand 50. Really enjoying these products, to be honest. Now that I'm also trying to see if I can move my diet more towards at least one day in the week, Do it. being completely meat free like a Monday, this is a great alternative to be able to do that. It's really, really awesome. If you guys have just tuned into the show and want to see how we made this amazing dish, check this recap. So dinner is sorted, courtesy of Afternoon Express and Corn. And if you're looking for some music to accompany that, we've still got that live performance by Tipsy coming up after the show. So make sure that you don't go anywhere. Put those dials down, get those squats ready, because we're about to come after the break.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It's that moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to wrap up the show with a live performance. It's one of the biggest hits of the summer. Here is Tipsy with, with Estatulo. <laughs> <laughs>
That's like one way of being tipsy on a Monday, right? Uh, no, absolutely. <laughs> But it's kind of look but don't look at Yeah, yeah. So, so, so while the performance was going on, I turned to Mum Connie and I said, "Wow, that energy that they have." And she said, "No, that we that's how we were in Ipindombi. Yes. And you toured with Ipindombi all over the world. I toured and with Ipindombi. Would... I performed in Monte Carlo. Wow. I performed in New Zealand, Mexico, United States of America. Yeah, wow. and, you, and they you, remind me of those times. Those days. Sure. <laughs> and you guys would be on stage for like two hours, two hours at a time. Two yeah, with a short break of about 15 minutes. Yeah. So the Vosho yeah. is nothing compared to what you guys were doing? No, it, it's <laughs> nothing, yeah. No, really, <laughs> yes. Because you guys would jump. Woo, girl. Hmm. <laughs> well, speaking of that energy, you're going to need to replenish. If you'd love some of the food, tell me which one I can serve you. Would you like some hot food or would you like a, a sandwich to be made on the show? Hot, hot food, food Hot food. Yes. Lovely. I'll okay. serve you some. That's from Mexico, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Enchiladas. Want to pass me your plate? So another thing that you have a passion for is farming. Yes, yes. I, you know, I'm, I, I don't know. I love soil. You know, mm. soil is so powerful and it seems like sometimes we forget. Like, for instance, just look at everything here now. It comes the from source the soil. of everything is the soil. Mm. Wow. So things that grow from the soil, they kind of excite. Actually, there's one there on the wall. Yes. It excites me that you can just put seed in the soil, one seed, and then what comes out of that may probably Surprises be you, yeah. many, many other seeds, like maize. Mm. You put one, or peaches, you put one, and when it grows, how many peaches come out of that? Absolutely. So soil is, is, is very, very powerful. Yes. It's our source. Yes. Yeah. And what, what do you love farming the most? I have not decided, but I like things that grow from yeah. the soil more mm. than animal farming. Yes. Um, I have registered a company already. Right. I'm working on it. And I, I'm going to learn, you know, because I have forgotten everything that I learned. You know, during those days, they used to force us to learn certain subjects. Yes. Yes. And one of the subjects that I studied was agricultural science, which at that time I didn't like. Mm. But ah. now, you know, when I think back about it, um, maybe that seed was planted then. They always and say I was that not sort of aware. age is always the, the, the main teacher. You kind of realize lots of lessons about when you were being taught as a youngster. Why don't mm. you know this now? I didn't like it, but Later now... Later on in your life, you realize, yo... That when I'm traveling awesome. and I see farms and I see the water sprinkling mm. there, I, I don't know, it does something to my soul. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Well, speaking about watering seeds and allowing things to grow, lots of youngsters are trying to break into the industry, do their thing, and you've, you've obviously built a huge legacy for yourself. For the youngsters trying to break into the world of, you know, the world of acting and fame and the media, mm -hmm. what has been like for you personally, the one lesson you've learned that you wish that they would learn now? The one lesson I've learned is that, you know, you must follow what is passionate in you, mm. something that you are passionate about and you spend sleepless nights about, thinking yeah. about it, mm. then that's your call, you know. And unfortunately in our industry, people are looking at fame. Mm. And, and now lately there's the celebrity syndrome. You know, like I'm an actress, but everywhere I go, I'm called a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, you know, I'm grateful that maybe people see me as a celebrity because celebrity is someone that you celebrate. Mm. But I think it has kind of lost meaning like hi. Mm. As long as you are on TV or they've seen you in a paper, you are called a celebrity. Mm. So yeah, you know what, the youth must go to school so that they can learn the ropes. And when you know the ropes, you are able to create your own jobs mm. and you know how to negotiate for yourself and, and ab ab avoid this exploitation which is so mm. rife mm. because you are able to read your contract and understand it. Mm. That's one of the reasons mm. I think people must actually really go to school. I think the youngsters tend, generally try, I've seen it happen quite a lot, is they want to, you know, bring teams on. Because when I have a team, apparently, like, I look like, I look like I'm a celebrity because I've got a manager and I've got a, this person. I'll, I'll speak to my lawyer, I'll speak to all of those people. And mm. ultimately, controlling and owning your craft allows you to learn all the elements, yeah. to, like you said, to create, to create work for future generations. Yes. So you'd want to be that person who's pioneering Absolutely. enough to take a seed which can grow multiple fruit as opposed exactly. to just taking one of the fruits. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I mean, there's hmm. also no point having a team if you don't know what the function of each team member is and if That's, you couldn't yeah. do it yourself. Yes, mm. absolutely. Yeah, so how is the food? What's the verdict? Oh, the verdict. Wow. This thing, there's no meat here. Mm -hmm. But I taste meat most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should it's become very a, good. You should become a corn ambassador. Mm. I promise you we didn't pay for that, that mm. mention there. Mm. But exactly, I thought wow. the same thing. It tastes exactly like mince. Mm. 
No, it's good. It mm. does. I'm a fan. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's also part of your legacy, and there's been so much love on social media. So, thank you so much to everybody who sent through comments on our Facebook page as well as on Twitter. Um, it's been really cool to have just an absolute icon like Mum Connie joining us in the loft today. It was really, really cool to see just your life being celebrated. Thank Is you. Is that so surreal? Much. Do you feel like there's a legacy that you've left behind? Are you done yet? No. Okay. I'm, I'm, like, maybe I haven't even started. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there's no point in, in, in where, as an artist, you can say I have arrived. Mm. Mm -hmm. They say you are as good as your last, Gig. your last project. Mm -hmm. So I'm still out there. I'm in the market. I'm still wanting to explore more. I was just saying to Bonnie the other day when we were sitting there, when we were talking about my lo my love for farming. Mm. I said farming is number two. Uh, I'll only stop. Actually, even when I'm dead, I will not have stopped acting. <laughs> because you will still see Come me. Back. But, yeah, yeah, so it's my be passion. I believe that's what God has put in me. Absolutely. Yeah. I left two professions to get into this one. And mm. I ain't going nowhere, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're very proud of you. We're so blessed mm. to Thank have you with so us Thank you so much. Today. Thank you for having me. The audience me. miss you on some of your old shows. Is there like a um, desire of you to go back into sort of soapy world and to do some of the big dramas? I'm an actress. So wherever a door is open and the, the atmosphere is okay yeah. and the script is okay, I'm still open to mm. do... Whatever I need Imagine. To Our you know, industry is small. Exactly. Exactly. But much in much all of those soapy, soapy, someone dies and then comes back, their spirit comes down and Ooh, come on. I don't like no, that. No, Mum Connie, what, what was I saying to you? I was just saying to her, I was just saying to her, if I were to go back <laughs> to any work that I have done, I do not want to go back as a ghost. As <laughs> no. You <laughs> yeah. can rather call me another name and I come as a twin of that There we go, yes. But, but not no, as a ghost. not as a ghost. No, 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 no. I think... Mm -mm. I love it. Yeah. yeah. We'll catch up to Unix Space Cook Along... Cook... The Cook Along tomorrow as we hang out with comedian and chef Anisia Govender. Yeah, you can head over to afternoonexpress.ca.za. Uh, there you'll find all the recipe and details for tomorrow's show as well. So you can cook with us live on the show. And we cannot wait to have you because it's always so much fun to make dinner with you live on the show and ask all of your questions. That wraps up on Monday. Can you believe it? Monday done Absolutely and dusted. Absolutely done. You made it. Congrats. <laughs> good night and happy eating, South Africa. We've loved hanging out with you. From us on Afternoon Express, good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.